It is very much go time here. We have been working long days. Every time a mission launches and we have experiments on it, you just get a sense of pride, but I also get a sense of anxiety because that's really where the rubber meets the road. All of the work that we've done for the last year and a half comes to fruition and hopefully results in a successful experiment on board station. In the 22 plus years of continuous human presence in space, we have uh, successfully demonstrated the ability to live and work in space. The NASA team and our team work hand in glove. There's not a, a problem that we can't find a way to solve. NASA and the National Lab have a phenomenal collaboration that has really resulted in high throughput science. For the first time in the history of human spaceflight, we're actually going there in order to do things that have direct benefit on Earth. The research our partners are doing on station is aimed squarely at solving some of humanity's biggest challenges. Curing cancer, curing heart disease, reversing climate change, improving the performance of semiconductors, solving the shortage of human organs by manufacturing artificial organs in space. So on this mission, we actually have two projects, and they're both looking at um, engineered heart tissue, but we've also supported lung tissue experiments, biofilm experiments. Right now, we're, we're printing simple tissues, but you know the holy grail is the ability to assemble an entire human organ in space. I am really excited to see some of the breakthrough science that is happening on station in the microgravity environment that as a scientist, I know I could not deliver on Earth. Let's get up there, let's do the work in space, bring it back, and do something that really has a chance of changing humanity. We are absolutely just scratching the surface of what's possible in low Earth orbit, what's possible in space. I think through the ISS National Lab, we are really expanding the options for all researchers on the planet to do cutting edge research in space. You realize how much researchers and companies don't even know that they can leverage the ISS. We're in this unique position to talk to all kinds of businesses and industries about the challenges they face in their everyday tasks. I think it's to National Lab's credit that they have given the opportunities for payload developers like us to prove that these things are not only tenable in space, but economically feasible as well. Building that type of uh, ecosystem in low Earth orbit is going to require the participation of uh, many government agencies, many nations, uh, and most importantly, many different industries. It takes a lot of skin in the game from everybody to put their heart and soul and their ideas on the table and to have the bravery to test them out. We supported a project that uh, looked at treating kidney disease. And my engineer who was designing the hardware kept saying, we're working on curing kidney disease. And so that makes us very proud, makes us feel like we're creating a difference in people's lives. That's really the essence of what we do, is we connect our resources with people who are looking for them and we try to create the best environment for them to be successful. The rocket launches are amazing. When you see the fire light up underneath the vehicle. You can feel your heart coming out of your chest because it's so exciting and everyone is feeling like this mini sigh of relief. But as soon as it's done, we can't wait to get back to the lab and finish the work. It takes a village, but that village is coming together and the results are gonna to be magnificent and we're all gonna see it in our lifetime.